So you're thinking about switching to habitat elevation. Good for you. But you want to know what exactly am I getting myself into? Let's find out. Habitat Elevation is one of the most powerful home automation hubs on the market. It is compatible with countless Z-Wave and Zigbee devices, plus many LAN devices like Alexa and Google Home. Habitat Elevation processes all of its automations locally, which means they are faster, more reliable, and you don't have to depend on some cloud server that could go down at any time and leave you in the dark. That might be why you're here. This video is designed to give you a step-by-step -step overview of what to expect as you transition to Habitat Elevation. We're talking about setting up your hub, adding devices, using apps to automate those devices, building your dashboards, all of that fun stuff. And listen, I want you to know you don't need to be an IT professional or a computer programmer to have success. I couldn't code my way out of a paper bag, but I figured this thing out and you can too. You just need to have a little bit of patience and you need to know where to find the answers you need. And that's what this video is all about. So let's get started. Your Habitat Elevation Hub includes the hub, power supply, USB cable, and ethernet cable. Scan the QR code included in the box and you will be guided step-by-step -step through the setup process. Follow the on-screen prompts to update and register your hub and enter your hub's name and location. It should only take a few minutes. Once the setup process is complete, your hub will ask if you want to add a device. This add device wizard is for adding Z-Wave and Zigbee devices to your system. If you want to add a compatible network or Wi-Fi device such as an Echo Dot or LifeX bulb, this is done using an integration app, which can be found in the app section. When adding devices via the wizard, you can select the device you want to add by device type or brand. Follow the device instructions to put the device in pairing or inclusion mode, and the hub will discover it. Don't forget, if you are adding a device that was already connected to another hub, you will need to perform a factory reset or Z-Wave exclude before connecting it to your Habitat Elevation hub. Once you have some devices connected, you'll want to start building some automations. The get started process will take you directly to the basic rules app for your first automation. No matter how much home automation experience you have, it is highly recommended you start with basic rules to learn the fundamentals of rule building in Habitat Elevation. Your first time using basic rules will include helper text to guide you through the rule building process. This can be turned on or off in later uses. You'll find basic rules is quite a powerful rule building app and for most rules you won't need any other app. But once you have some experience, you can harness the full power of Hubitat with automation apps like Home Safety Monitor and Rule Machine, which is so robust, your home automations are limited only by your imagination. But keep in mind the KISS method of automation. Yes, Hubitat Elevation can handle your crazy conditional rules, but the simpler you can keep your automations, the better off you'll be. Once your hub is up and running, you'll want to download the free Hubitat mobile app which you can find in the Apple Store or Google Play Store. It only takes a couple minutes to set up, and it gives you the ability to use your mobile device as a presence sensor or check your dashboards. You can also access the web UI as long as you're on the same local area network. Z-Wave Smart Start is built right into the app. This allows you to simply scan a QR code on newer Z-Wave devices and add them to your system. It's pretty slick. Next, it's time to set up your dashboards. This will give you the ability to monitor and control your devices on your phone, tablet, or PC. In Habitat Elevation, you'll find Habitat Dashboard in the app section of the web UI. We have a whole video on getting your dashboard set up that you should watch, but once it is installed, it is extremely customizable. You can choose the devices you want to show, customize the look, and even set up multiple dashboards for different users or different rooms or what have you. There's a fun thread in the online community called Show Us Your Dashboards that can give you an idea of what is possible. There are an abundance of other features, capabilities, and built-in apps that you'll want to explore in your Habitat Elevation system. Modes are a very popular way to create conditions in your automation, so check out a video on understanding modes if you want lights to be able to react differently during day or night or that sort of thing. The Groups and Scenes app makes it easy to group devices together and create the ambience you want in a room. We have apps for managing locks, managing thermostats, and monitoring your home. For power users, we have HubMesh, which allows you to have multiple Habitat Elevation hubs work together to automate your home. Another reason some people choose Habitat Elevation is for the ability to add custom code for apps and drivers. Again, this is nothing you have to know to use your Habitat Elevation, but if it's something you're interested in doing, check out the online documentation for more info on that. You'll also want to familiarize yourself with the logs feature. You can open up a log in a separate window and it will give you a real-time view of what is happening in your hub and can really help with troubleshooting and keeping your automations running smoothly. As you dive deeper into home automation with Habitat Elevation, you may on occasion 
find that you need a little bit of help or maybe a pep talk, we all do. Fortunately, there are several ways to find the help you need. We have online documentation. We have tutorial videos for several of our apps. And one of the best resources we have is our online community at community.hubitat.com. It's a very active community with very helpful people who are all new to Hubitat, just like you at one point. You'll even find our engineers and developers popping in on occasion to answer some questions. If you're on Facebook, join the Hubitat users group. Point is, we want you to find success with Hubitat, and we know you can if you use the resources available. At the beginning of this video, we said we were going to answer the question, what am I getting myself into with Hubitat Elevation? Well, what you're getting yourself into is a great hub and a great community of home automation enthusiasts. We know that once you complete your transition from that old platform to Hubitat Elevation, you'll wish you had done it a long time ago. Thanks for watching, and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.